I'm going to show you one way to create an as-built layer set to reference to a new plan. This is a default out-of-the-box residential template. And what I'm going to do is, this is just one method. I'm going to get into Tools, Layer Settings, and Layer Set Management. From here, I want to copy this working layer set. I'm going to call it Existing Plan Layer Set. Now I have a couple of preferences that I like to do. There's a subsequent dialog box that comes up when you do it from this menu. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna select all. I like to change all of my colors to kind of a medium gray. I also like to change my line style to a hatch line. That's just a personal preference. I also have a preference for walls. I only wanna show my main layer and I wanna turn off all the rest of the layers. So actually I don't even need to turn on the main layer in this case, but I just do it kind of out of habit. And then I like to turn off my interior and exterior casing. You might want that on if you're an interior designer and you do want to reference that for some reason. Um, I personally don't think it's very useful. So in an existing plan set. So there we go. A couple little things. Now we can create a new save plan view if you like just to preview this. But instead of previewing this, I'm just going to hit control save. Control S for save, I should say. We'll save this as as built. And then we can do a save as, which is a control alt S, and I'm going to save this as new. So in the new plan file, let me just move this wall now. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to click on change reference floor. Okay. And I'm going to choose my existing plan, find that AB I just created. I like to just designate my floor here, and then I can find that existing plan layer set. Now, notice it's on the top of the stack, and I want it, I may want it to be underlaid underneath. We can also do an X over R. But in any case, we can see here, there's our existing plans underlaid underneath our new plan. Very quick, very easy to establish this. As you move your walls or you create new walls, you might want to create new wall types or reset your new wall layers and differentiate them between that and your existing walls. But this is a great way to show the underlay of the existing plan.